This is Riley. Riley came in the clinic last week because he couldn't walk very well. He wobbled on his back legs and he threw that right front leg out like he's doing. He seemed tentative about everything. He is walking a lot better today. He still knuckles over on his back legs. He doesn't really know where they are. He can't really feel them. He's not that he's in pain. It's just like he doesn't know quite where everything is. So when he walks, he wobbles a little bit and throws his legs, puts his legs in abnormal positions. So what's wrong with him? Well, Riley's neck is bent at birth, probably. He has scoliosis, or his cervical vertebrae are bent. So one side of his vertebrae are pinched, and it pinches in on the disc between the bones of the vertebrae. What that might do, you can see the bend here, that might do is to squeeze the vertebrae. You ever have a bleb on your tire, inner tube, on your bike or your car? You get a bubble? That bubble can press on the spinal cord and it will short the spinal cord's impulse from where it presses up behind it. So in this dog, it's got deformed vertebrae in the neck and the bubble in the disc is pressing up against the spinal cord so he can't feel his feet. Poor guy. So he's walking weird on his back feet now because they're painful but because he can't feel them. So let me show you his neck to show you where his neck is very bent. This is Riley's neck. Necks usually should go straight down. Now you see Riley's neck is bent. In fact, you can see here that Riley's vertebrae are not in a straight line. In fact, they're stacked so that they, they curve. And what that does is put excess of force on the spacer or the disc so it wears out sooner. And that's what's happened. It's got that bubble in it. It presses on the spinal cord and he can't feel his feet. So you see picture here of the vertebrae, the disc spaces, and how the vertebrae are curved. The trouble is when it bends like that, it puts abnormal pressure on the spacers, on the disc. And if the neck's always pushing on one side and wearing it out, it gets a bubble up top or puts too much pressure where the disc starts to wear out on top and will press on the spinal cord. That's what Riley's problem is. He's got a scoliosis in the neck and his spacers or his intervertebral discs are wearing out. And his vertebrae are not normal. Uh, size and shape because if they were, if they stacked on each other just like that, it would be normal. Of course they don't because I just told you there's a spacer in between each one. So actually they're stacked like that. So that means one side or the other is abnormal. So it might be skinnier here. So what happens is the neck, if it's skinnier on one side of the bone, the bone will start to curve like that. And so the bone curves um, and puts more pressure on the disc and they wear out a little sooner. They also wear out sooner on some dogs, uh, some poodles, uh, some German Shepherds, labs. Their discs just wear out at a young age, so it's not unlike our back disease in people. Well, check out my website, dogdishdiet.com, and if you'd like, uh, if you buy a book, you can get a free ebook. What I did is I showed people how to cook in the crock pot and make their dogs healthy homemade food and I leave the bones in. That adds the calcium, magnesium and phosphorus to make it a complete and balanced diet. If you want your dog to get lose weight or get over a lot of the chronic skin, ear and bowel problems, try the dog dish diet.